Okay, and three, two, one. Hey, what's up, guys? We're back to another live stream. This live stream, we're going to be talking about the severe weather today and Trifle Song Claudette. So, I guess we started. We have no trail warnings right now, so we're going to talk about the, the trail watch that has been issued. So it says, Natural Storm Prediction Center has issued. The Natural Storm Prediction Center has issued a trail watch for portions of North, Southeast Alabama, the Florida Panhandle, Southwest Georgia and Coastal Walk does. Affected this Saturday Monday, this Saturday morning and evening from 9.35 a.m. until 7 p.m. Central Time. Primary threats include a few tornadoes possible, isolated damaging wind gusts to 70 mile per hour possible. Mm. Summary. Scattered thunderstorms associated with charcoal storm cloud that will pose a risk of brief tornadoes damaging winds through the afternoon across the watch areas. Remember, tornado watch means conditions are favorable for tornadoes and severe thunderstorms and in close to the watch area. People in these areas should, should be on the lookout for threatening weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warning. Hazards and likely look for tornadoes, moderate, EF2 plus tornadoes, low, severe wind, low, 65 knot plus wind, low, severe hail, very low, 2 inch plus hail, very low. So some cities in Fair Watch and Jude, I'm going to include Pensacola, Panama City, Dauphin, Montgomery and Columbus, Georgia. Oh yeah, this is rotating. It's gonna be a trail warning for Edison, um, Georgia soon. Some rotation. There's two areas of rotation around Edison, Georgia. So if you're in Edison, Georgia, so some rotation. There's three rota rotations in Georgia. One right here. Right heel and one right heel. Three hours of rotation. I gotta be watching out for some more spots of rotation right heel. But these two seem to be the strongest quite right now by Edison. This was where at the last tail what it was for this rotation. Uh, we do have a new severe phone still morning. National Weather Service in Tallahassee has issued a severe phone still morning for southeastern Bay County in the Panhandle, Texas, um, Florida, until 2.45 p.m. Central Time. At 2.02 p.m. Central Time, a severe phone storm was located 8 miles southwest of Tyndall, Air Force Base or trail miles southwest of Cal Callaway. Moving northeast at 40 mile per hour has a 6 mile per hour wind gust software indicated. Impact. Expect damage to roof, siding, trees. Locations impacted include Panama City, Lynn Haven, Callaway, Springfield, Highland Park, Tyndall Air Force Base, Parker, Bayhead, Southport, Allentown, Cedar Grove, Dorigo Park, Beacon Beach, Bay Harbor, Recota Beach, College Station, Bayou George, Camp Flowers, Kyrell, and Brandonville. 
Picasso put on his actions. And Snow White remains in effect until in effect until 7 p.m. Central Time for the Panhandle of Florida. Remain alert for a possible tornado. Tornadoes can develop quickly from thunderstorms. If you spot a tornado, go out once into the basement or a small central room in a sturdy structure. That does say what tornado possible and there's some and before because of this rotation. Now could once it's, it's over here towards Tinder Air Force Base, could be a tornado warning issued for this area. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. If that rotation holds together. Um. Okay. So the tornado watch is in effect for um uh, about this area. Tornado watches more about this. There you go. Tornado watch is in effect for these areas. But later on today, new tornado watch. Later on tonight, I should say, tornado watch is probably going to be an issue for these areas. What When these storms make it up this way. Or soon, maybe. And tornado watch is. New tornado watch is probably going to be needed. This is moving towards the Bayview Housing and Tindall Air Force Base. So if you're in Tindall Air Force Base or Bayview Housing, Florida, you need to be taking care. Start taking shelter because this is some rotate. There's some rotation heading right towards you, and there's probably a water spell right on this. Here's the shore. This line is the shore right here. So once this comes right right here, tornado warning may be issued for this area. Any questions, feel free to put them in chat. My radar is estimating. Um, most hurricane force winds in some spots. I um, gotta keep an eye on that. I'm going to bring in the natural service and what is the natural service in this area? Um, Tallahassee. See what they are thinking of this. What is this natural service? So natural service in Tallahassee and Pete. 
Christmas tree. Okay, so those are the Nashville services I need to open. Um, good, I have one. Then they're going to need Nashville service and Tallahassee. Let's see. Oh, they don't have one on here. So, yeah, I would issue a tornado warning right here on this. Wonder if there's a water spout on this right here. Moving towards Tindall Air Force Space and Bayville Housing. After that, it's going to be heading up to the Callaway areas. New trail warning. Natural Service in Tallahassee has issued a trail warning for southeastern Bay County in Panhandle, Florida, till 2.45 p.m. East I mean Central Time. At 2.09 p.m. Central Time, a severe phone is capable of producing a tornado was located near Tyndall Air Force Base, or 7 miles southwest of Callaway, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. As a tornado, source ra radar indicated rotation, impact, flying debris will be dangerous those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damaged roofs, windows, vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Panama City, Callaway, and Springfield around 2.20 p.m. Central Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Parker, Cedar Grove, Brandonville, Beacon Beach, Bay Harbor, Collar Station, Millville, and Bayou George. So that's about to go over the Bayview Housing and Tindall Air Force Base area. So if you're in Bayview Housing or Tindall Air Force Base in Florida, you may be taking shelter right now. If you're in Parker, Springfield, and Callaway, Florida, you need to start taking cover also. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna look at the correlation radar. See if there's any debris. Uh, it does was there's no debris. That's uh, nothing. Okay. So the rotation is coming on shore. And we also have a new severe fire storm warning. Is it this one? Yes, it's this one. National Service in Tallahassee has issued a severe fire storm warning for Dale County, southeastern Alabama, eastern Coffee County in southeastern Alabama, Geneva County, southeastern Alabama, western Houston County in southeastern Alabama, northern Holmes County in the Panhandle of Florida, until 3 15 p.m. Central Time. At 2 12 p.m. Central Time, a studio fossil capable of producing. I mean, a severe fossil was located 8 miles north of Bonifay, moving north at 45 miles per hour. Hazard. 60 mile per hour wind gust source, we're indicated. 
impact, expect damage to roofs, siding, trees. Locations impacted include Delville Geneva Enterprise, Fort Worker, Ozark Dolphin, Hartford, Taylor, Midland City, Level Place, Slocombe, Newton, New Brockton, Pin, Pin, Odd, Malvern, Clayhatchie, Grimes, Esto, Nakbilia, Field, and Coffee Springs. Precautionary preparedness actions. A tornado watch re remains in effect until 7 p.m. Central Time for southeastern Alabama and the Panhandle of Florida. We may not look for a possible tornado. Tornadoes can develop quickly from front storms. If you spot a tornado, go at once into the basement, a basement or small and central room in a sturdy structure. And the time about this rotation right here between Esto and Bonifay. Florida. That rotation, that tornado warning of Florida rotations over Bayview housing. Florida. So if you're in Bayview Housing, rotations on top of you, so you need to be take cover now. Um, Tidal Air Force Base is going to go just to your left, but stay in your, stay in your shelters still. Callaway, Parker, and Springfield, Florida, you need to be taking cover. You're next in the path of this rotation. And in these tropical storms like this, the tornado can be develop quickly, then be gone the next scan. So that's why you need to be quick into your shelters when the turn warning, especially if you're like in the, it's on top of you, you need to take cover now because because rotations like this in tropical storms and hurricanes. They develop quickly, and they'll go on like in the next scan. But this one's holding together surprisingly, as it rolls on, moves on shore. Okay, rotation steel over Bayview Housing, Florida. But we do have a new severe thunderstorm warning, and. Illinois and Missouri. National Service and St. Louis has issued a severe frontal warning for north central Calhoun County in southwestern Illinois, southwestern Green County, southwestern Illinois, west central Jersey County, southwestern Illinois, northeastern Lincoln County, east central Missouri, southeastern Pike County, northeastern Missouri. Until 3 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm at Central Time. At 2.15 p.m. Central Time, a severe, a severe thunderstorm was located near Bellevue. Moving east at 25 miles per hour, has a 6 mile per hour wind gusts in Cross Ice Hill, source blue and Cayman. Impact, hell damage to vehicles expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding trees. Locations packed include Hardin and Kelton. Cautionary preparedness actions. For your protection, moves on two room on the lowest floor of a building. As for Spear Storm and Missouri moving into crossing Mississippi into Illinois. We also got a new Spear Fossil warning in Maine around um, Portland. Natural Service in Gray, Maine has issued a Spear Fossil warning for Kennebec County in South Central Maine. Northwestern Knox County in South Central Maine, Western Waldo County in West South Central Maine, Southeastern Somerset County in West Central Maine, Northeastern Lincoln County in South Central Maine until 4 p.m. Eastern Time. 
at 3.13 p.m. Eastern Time, a serial phone storm located along the line extending from six miles northeast of Skullhagen to Winthrop, moving east at 45 miles per hour, has a six mile power wind gust and cross size hail. Impact. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding trees. Locations impacted include Augusta, Waterville, Fairfield, Gardiner, Oakland, Skohagen, Pittsfield, Thorndike, Madison, China, Clinton, Belgrade, Farmingdale, Manchester, Hallowell, Liberty, Palermo, Norwich, Rock, Winthrop and Unity. This includes Interstate 95 between mile marks 103 and 157. Precautionary preparedness action. For your protection, move to a chair room or low floor of a building. If on or near lake, stay away from what the water and move indoors on one side of the vehicle. Remember, lightning can strike out to 15 miles from the parent thunderstorm. If you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. Move to safe shelter now. Do not be caught on the water in a thunderstorm. They said that because it was a bunch of lakes, as you can see. That's why they said it. We'll go back to the Today, a warning in Florida. Now, rotation. Okay, today, warning has updated. They said the today, warning remains in effect until 2.45 p.m. Central Time for Southeastern Bay County. At 2.19 p.m. Central Time, a studio phone store capable of producing a tornado was located over Callaway. I meant Callaway. Moving south. Moving northeast at 45 miles per hour, hazard, tornado, source, rain, and clear rotation. In fact, find the really dangerous doors caught without shelter. Both homes will be damaged or destroyed. Then she will win those vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This tornado front will remain over mainly rural areas of southeastern Bay County, including the following locations. Parker, Cedar Grove, Brandonville, Beak. Con Beach, Bay Harbor, College Station, Millville, and Bayou George. George. Precautionary preparedness action. Take cover now. Move to a basement on two room or a low swab study building. Avoid windows, doors, and exterior walls. If you outdoors, MO Home Vehicle. Move close to the central shelter. Protect, protect yourself flying debris. Our rotation is still holding together. So if you're on Parker or Callaway, you need to take cover now because you're about to get hit. So take cover now immediately. If you have any questions, feel free to say them in chat. Okay. So we got that train warning still in effect until 2.45 Central Time for Bay County, portions of Bay County, Florida. Just in case you, you're just joining and we have a Trail watch in effect for portions of southeast Alabama, Florida, Panhandle, southwest Georgia, and coastal waters. Affected is Saturday morning and evening from 9.35 a.m. until 7 p.m. Central Time. Primary effects include a few trails possible, isolated damaging wind gusts to 70 mile per hour possible. Summary, scattered thunderstorms associated with tropical storm Claude will pose a risk of brief tornadoes and damaging winds through the afternoon across the watch area. Remember, but a trail watch means conditions are favorable for tornadoes to be storms and in closer watch. People in these areas should be on a lookout for threatening weather conditions to listen for later statements and possible warnings.
Yeah, the rotation is now right on top of Call Away, Florida. So if you're in Call Away, the rotation is right on top of you. So if you're in Call Away, if you even have a storm cell, you won't you you won't have time to run outside. So if you're in Call Away, you need. You need to be in shelters immediately. Trails on. No, the rotations aren't right on top of our view. So, the rotation has just weakened a little bit, but there's still some rotation north of Callaway, Florida. And no more towns are appearing up here in the northern part of the trail warning. But, so I can't really say any towns, but the, but... There are other towns in this area I know that are not appealing because this is mentioning more towns and, and some of these towns are not on here so there's still towns up here probably but they're just not appealing. Okay. Any questions? Feel free to say them in chat. Uh, okay. If when this one expires, I can go ahead and talk about Tropical Storm Claudette, but. There's still some rotation on it, so they. So I'm gonna still talk talk about this until the day one expires. So the. So if you're just joining, okay, the trail warning has updated. So I said, so if you're just joining in, a trail warning, a trail warning remains in effect until 2:45 p.m. Central Time for Eastern East Central Bay County. At 2.25 p.m. Central Time, a severe fun storm capable of producing a trail was located over Cowlet. Moving northeast at 45 miles per hour, has a tornado, such where in K rotation, impact, flying will be damaged, still caught, for shelter. No homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage roofs, windows, vehicles, road Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Callaway, Parker, and Bayou Shore. Precautionary propellant actions. Take cover now. Move to your basement and turn your room on the lowest floor of the story building. Avoid windows, doors, and exterior walls. If you have doors and low hall vehicle, move close to the central shelter. Protect yourself from flying debris. You can see this was the original rotation, but some more rotations are in the form right here. That's probably what they extended it for. Is this one? It's probably why they didn't just go ahead and expire it. Um. Okay. What this can be used for, I can tell you, there's like a tornado on the ground because it'll be like. See, so there wasn't any tornado on the ground because if you were. Uh, 
if to find a trail, see if there was hay on the ground. You want to, you want to, if something like, if there was like a bluish greenish ball like this, somewhere in this area, then there were, that would be a tornado, but I should see there wasn't any blue ball, so we are not, so we don't, but we do have a new tornado warning. Um, National Service of Birmingham has issued a trail warning for southwestern Barber County in South Alabama till 3 p.m. Central Time. At 2.27 p.m. Central Time, a severe fossil capable of producing a tornado was located near Blue Springs State Park, or seven miles southeast of Kai. I mean, Cleo, moving north at 35 miles per hour, has a tornado source where NK rotation impact. Find the danger to call for shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Cleo, Louis, Louis, Louisville, Tyler Crossroads, Blue Spring State Park, and Miller's Ford. Cautionary paleness action. Take cover now. Move to a base floor and turn room on the last floor with sturdy building. Avoid windows, doors, and exterior walls. If outdoors and mobile home vehicle, move close to the closest substantial shelter. Protect yourself from flying debris. That will Invitation you can't really see anymore. See that's what I was born for. That's what I was warned for. This is the time when tail warning went up. Then now it is patient just weakened, so they, they just let that expire. But the rotation is not as strong as the rotation in Florida. Actually, rotation in Florida weakened, meaning the Alabama rotation is stronger now. If if all the trail warnings expire, then I can go ahead and talk about Tropical Storm Claudette. But we have to wait till all the trail warnings expire first before. So I'm going to get something. So I'll be back in about mm, two to three minutes. Okay. Bye. Okay, I'm back. 
Now rotation of floor that just strengthened, been meaning it is stronger than the Alabama rotation again. Yep, stronger. I think there's many updates on it. This one, I'm just gonna let. Uh, um. No. Oh. Yeah, this is probably going to be extended. So it's probably going to be extended for like... I don't know, something like that. But not as wide as I did it. Okay, so once all the trail link expire, we can look at the we're gonna go ahead and look at Tricle Stone Claw Debt. See what it on these trail links expire. This one's probably gonna be extended if it Rotation holds together for the, a little bit. Now the Alabama one is starting to, to come back together. It's starting to come back together. Yeah, it's going to need an extension. If you're just joining in... If you're just joining in, there's a tornado warning for, there's two tornado warnings right now if you're just joining in. A trail, so the one, the one in Florida says, a trail warning remains in effect until 2.45 p.m. Central Time for, for East Central Bay County. And there's another tornado warning in Alabama for Southwestern Barber County. In Alabama. Those are the only two trail warnings for now. There's also a trail watch for this entire area. I will get to once the trail warning expire. I'll start. I'll talk about that. Um, because this is probably going to be extended soon, and as soon as it extends, I want to talk about it. Then I'm, I will say something to talk about the channel watch. If, if you're just joining in.
Ok. Yeah. If they're gonna extend it, they need to extend it now for this area. Something like that. If any questions, feel free to ask them in chat. I'm looking at chat for like every like couple of minutes. Let's do a power outage update. Uh, 4,835 people are without power in Alabama. 3,235 people are out of power in Florida. And 5,681 people are out of power in Georgia. Checking my volume. Yeah, my volume's on. Just making sure. Mm, okay. So. Once these tornado warnings expire, I can go ahead and talk about the tornado watch. Then I'm going to talk about the, the outlooks. Tornado warning in Alabama updated. It now says, a trail warning remains in effect until 3 p.m. Central Time for South Central Barber County in Alabama. At 2.39 p.m. Central Time, a severe forms were capable of producing a trail was located over Tyler Crossroads or near Clio. Moving north at 35 miles per hour has a tornado source for incapacitation impact. Flying debris with dangerous those called for shelter. Low homes will be damaged or destroyed. Energy roofs, windows, vehicles, road cut. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Clio, Louisville, Tyler, Crossroads, and Millersford. Precautionary preparedness actions. Take cover now. Make your base on the room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. Doors and exterior walls. If our doors and mobile we go move to closest essential shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. And there's a rotation right here. And that's moving north towards the Clayton, Alabama area. So if you're in Clayton, you need to start preparing for a possible tornado warning soon. And that for you. But look, this one's going to expire. I don't think they're going to extend it because if they were going to extend it, they would have already extended it because patient is right here. So if they were, was going to extend it, it's kind of too late. So right here. Rotation. If any questions, feel free to say them in chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have a new severe thunderstorm watch. National Service has National Service Storm Prediction Center has issued a severe thunderstorm watch for portions of West Central Illinois, eastern Missouri. Affected this Saturday afternoon and evening from four I meant from two forty PM until ten PM Central Time. Primary threats include scattered large hail, likely with isolated very large hail events of two inches dying rate or possible. Scattered damaging wind gusts to seventy mile per hour likely and a trail to possible. Summary cluster of intense thunderstorms are expected to develop this afternoon in south southward across the watch area. Very moist and unstable conditions, along with favorable winds aloft, will promote the risk of a few severe foot storms capable of damaging winds and large hail. Remember, severe thunderstorm watch means conditions are favorable for severe thunderstorms 
and in close to the watch area. Pe people in these areas should be on the lookout for threatening weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Real phones can and are crazy do produce tornadoes. That is for this. Let's see. Um, let's update something. I'm going to get it. Hang on. Um, okay. How do you make it? Um... Okay. Um... Hang on, um... Uh, this is my first time doing it, so I'm having to... Still fingering it out. So we're gonna do the same settings. Give me forty five. Then I need the color. Then, oh, I can't figure this out. I hit the wrong thing. Um, fours.
Do the list of light chat. figure that out figure that out on a test live stream let's see oh that's some strong rotation Morning remains in effect until 3 p.m. Central Time for Central Barbell County. At 2.50 p.m. Central Time, a studio phone store capable of producing a tornado was located near Louisville, or nine miles northeast of Cleo, moving north at 35 mile per hour. Has a tornado source blowing cavitation impact. Flying debris, then she does car crash shelter. More homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage your roof, window, vehicles, road, could tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Louisville. Because you're putting on the sections, take cover now. Move to a basement or you room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid window doors and exterior walls. If outdoors and mobile home, avoid vehicle. Move closest to the central shelter. Protect yourself from flying debris. That is strong rotation. Maybe turn on the ground on this. Hmm. I'm gonna look at something. Is it? What is the county? Card. The rotations in a barbell bill. Wrong thing. That it. That's why I'm not getting it. Okay. that thing I was on a few days ago I went yesterday live stream I forgot what that was called we typed in Pebble County Ohio That's what we typed in yesterday. Broadcasting.
Okay. So we're going to be looking for... Hmm. Where's the search? Uh, we're going to be looking for Alabama. This is what we need. Redell has something about it. No, nothing's even playing on there. I don't know. Trail warning has been extended. So new trail warning. National Service of Birmingham has issued a trail warning for East Central Burlock County in southeastern Alabama, North Central Barber County in southeastern Alabama until 3.45 p.m. Central Time at, at 2.52 p.m. Central Time. A steel furnace on capable of producing a trail was located near Clayton or 10 miles northeast of Cleo. Moving north at 35 miles per hour has a trail, source wear and clear rotation, impact, flying debris, danger does cut across shelter. More homes will be damaged or destroyed. Then we should move when those vehicles will occur, tree damage likely. Locations impacted include Clayton, Louisville, Spring Hill, Corner, Barbara County, Public Lake Dam, Clayton, Moose, Nitsipal, Airport, and Mount Andrew. Cautionary preparedness action. Take over now. Mutual vision will turn room on the last floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows, doors, and exterior walls. If our doors and mobile home, you're in vehicle. Move close to the central shelter. Protect yourself from flying debris. Now some strong rotation. So if you're in Clayton, you take cover right now. There's some strong rotation. And we don't have something on. Maybe we can get. Uh, what? The only one I know. This is the only way I can get know how to get to it. Then to go from Mississippi. Then click on Alabama. That's the only way I know to get to it. Let's get rid of these stuff. Uh, cameras. Send this area. Uh, Hmm, okay, can't find it. Okay. That rotation is still strong. Say that. I didn't mean to open up YouTube. 
They need to open up YouTube. Oh. Okay, I didn't mean to open up YouTube. Why am I? As Why is this favorited? I didn't mean to do that. Click on this. Sure, cause okay, so we can see where it's planned to go. So it's so this is a track of it. Let's track of it. Yeah. Okay. So rotation's right here. So the rotation is. Questions, feel free to say them in chat. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at Google Earth to see if there's any like businesses out here. Places gonna need to be taken cover. Uh. Okay. So we want Clayton on this area. Just be talking over the Clayton Moon Moon Simple Airport. So if you're in Clayton Moon Super Airport, that's going to come over you. The Van Tress Correctional Facility is also going, is coming over that area. If you can drive to the Clayton Moon Super Airport or the Van Tress Correctional Facility in 10 to 15 minutes, you'll be taken cover. If you can drive to the Mount Andrew Water Authority, Less than 10 to 15, 10, 15 minutes, you also need to take cover. Okay, some high, some place, roads guy going to need, uh, this is heading towards, um, 239, so if you're on 239, 51, 49, um, Robertson Mill Road, if you want any of those roads, you need pull over, and see how we go, you need pull over. Now this touches down, we're going to see on the correlation radar. Maybe. If. Because this is going over farmland and forest. So I don't know really if we're going to see it. Because it could be a quick touchdown. So. Didn't mean to hit that. Nothing yet. Right there, yeah, so Clayton. Don't compare to Clayton. Okay, so based on here. Mm -hmm. This is around the uh, 
Robertson Mill World area. The dirty one. And the uh, Hello Man World areas. This that's where the it is right now. So ponds are go in the path of this include Williams Mill Pond and Betrins Pond. We got another. We got a new Seville Farms to watch. The National the National Storm Petition Center has issued a a Seville Farms to watch for portions of eastern Colorado, Nebraska Panhandle, affected this Saturday afternoon and evening from 1:40 p.m. until 9:15 p.m. Mountain Time. Primary threats include. Scattered damaging winds and isolated significant gusts to 70 miles per hour possible. Scattered large hail and isolated very large hail events to 2 inches and 9 meters possible. Summary. Thunderstorms will develop near the front range and move east into the high plains this afternoon and evening. Large hail and severe gusts will be the primary threats with the stronger Storms as a squall line eventually forms by early evening. Remember, severe forms of watch means conditions of conditions are favorable for severe front storms and in closer watch area. People in these areas should be on the lookout for threatening weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Severe front storms can and occasionally do produce tornadoes if the channel threat is low on here. Tornado warning has expired, but they, I believe they should have extended it because it's still rotation. So some good, some, some good rotation on that. So I honestly think they should have extended it, but don't know. So since that is. Expiring. Okay, the four areas of severe weather we are watching today. One is New England around this area for severe weather. See, there's five areas. No, f yeah, f four areas. Second area we need watching is this area, region. For severe weather. The third region we'll be watching for severe weather is the front range. And the fourth place we need to be watching for severe weather is this the southeast from Tropical Storm Cloud Jet. Um, the center of the storm is about a oh, is about right here is the center of the storm somewhere in here. I think maybe a little this way. Let's see what the main storms are doing. There's just a line in Maine, a line of gusty winds, made some small hill. And Colorado is just plus of the storms are going to soon form into a line and just be gusty winds. Now, this storm we got to watch. Yeah, there's storms we got to watch. I'll read off the spill for the morning. Yeah, it does have trail possible on it. So we're going to be watching this. There's a hook echo. 
This storm is in Missouri, about to cross the Mississippi went River into Illinois. So here's the hook echo. The hook echo. Then the inflow boundary is right here. Meaning the rotation will be right here. And that's where it is. That rotation right here. So we got to keep an eye on that. Let's go back to Alabama on Clayton. Yeah, I don't see the rotation anymore. This is the original rotation. Why was Clayton? I think that's not it. This is it's still rotating. Right here. But we do have a new tornado warning. So let's go look at that. I don't even see any rotation. Yeah, there's never rotation there unless it's... You do small... Things like that. Yeah, I don't know why they issued it. Um, I'm confused. It says confirmed tornado. There's not even rotation. Well, we'll check it out anyway, since people are saying it's confirmed, apparently. There's not even any rotation over there, but we'll look at it, just in case. Maybe, where is it, maybe? We'll see if we have a location where there could be. Buyers, Dill Trail, Wiggins. I'm looking for Wiggins. Dill Trail. I'm just on the search. Buyers. Dill Trail somewhere over here. That means Wiggins. It's right here. Leader. Do you want to lead or anything, cover? Apparently, there's a confirmed tornado. A Q confirmed tornado. It was probably a false report. I don't know why the National Red Service knew, thought it was a real report. No storm chasers in the area on my website I use can look at the other website I use sometimes. Some reason I don't have it booked to mark. Um, where is it? Here it is. Nope. Probably just some people trying to Make anyone freak out for no reason. Okay, an enhanced twist has just been issued for the wind. There was an enhanced twist today for push that has just been issued for portions of Colorado, Nebraska. In Kansas, the area today's enhanced risk is 32,056 square miles. Population today's enhanced risk is 295,834 people. Who are some bigger cities in today's enhanced risk? Cooney, Nebraska, North Platte, Nebraska, Hastings, Nebraska, and Lexington, Nebraska. So there's now an enhanced risk so we have to watch out for. There's no rotation. I'm not even going to bother to read that out. You see those rotation what the... I think there's 
rotation I do when not feel this rotation is more rotation and there's not even twenty on one. Same with Alabama. Rotation is not even trail. Not even needs to be a fun one over here anymore. So fake report caused the trail warning. Okay. Um, I am no clue what the Dashers of this and Dambo was thinking when issuing that tornado warning. Hmm. And so the way those messed up. You feel leader take cover? Cause I don't know what's even going on. Cause there's no mutation. Anywhere. Little one these little right here, that's really it. But very, very, very weak. So I guess if you're in that area, you just take cover, so I have no clue what's even going on. Yeah, I don't know what Dambo was thinking. Someone is watching and Zoe crossing to Illinois still rotating. The rotation around and main hang towards Haynes Bill Main, so keep an eye on that. Yeah, there's no rotation. I don't know what they was thinking. If you have any questions, feel free to say them in chat. So I'm looking at chat every few minutes. So. I'm planning to do another live stream tomorrow. For tomorrow's Enhanced Risk and Tropical Storm Claudette, which by... That time will probably be tricycle depression for that. So oh. So we're all going to go ahead and look at Tricle Storm. I think we'll wait since, since the next update for Tricle Storm Claw that is going to come out like in 30 minutes. So we might as well wait to get the 40 to 20, 30 minutes so we can get the latest update. Latest uh, information, so we're going to just wait. So, we're gonna do a power outage update.
In Mississippi, 3,433 people out of power. In Alabama, 3,008 people out of power. 2,615 people out of power in Georgia. 3,878 people without power in Florida. 9,917 9, people without power in Maine. 202 people without power in Colorado. 46 people without power in Nebraska. These are out from yesterday's storms. Near Ohio and Illinois. Okay. I'm going to go get something since there's no tornado warning in this area. But if a new tornado warning gets issued, I'm going to be coming back. Okay. So, see you in a little bit. I got to get, I got to do something real quick. Okay, I'm back. I turned one again called water. That was ish useless. That useless turn one again called water was still in effect. Don't know why they issued it. Still. I 
I think it was just a fa fake report that caused it to be 21. This has more rotation than that. The that car bar the same warning. Okay, just make sure my t yeah my sounds turn back on. Okay, this is okay. <laughs> just checking stuff. That's what confirmed nail was. These two counties went up like this. That's why those power outages. Where was that tornado at? Okay, so the tornado. He's grouped in and southeast of this area. This is where a trail happened at earlier today. Where is this? Was Cookland? There's another place in this area. Okay, got impacted. I don't know. Okay, know some heavier rain over Birmingham right now. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about, as you was waiting for the update. Warning in it right now is in Colorado. There's still no rotation on it. It is apparently confirmed, but mm, 
I think it was just a fa fake report, a false report. Trail report got posted that tornado morning because when it was first issued, we went back on it to pass radar. There was never any rotation on it, so it was a fake. It was a false report that prompted the tornado warning. So. So, we're just going to forget about that trail warning since it is a trail warning out is not needed. So, I'm just waiting on the update from the National Hurricane Center on Claudette, Tropical Storm Claudette. <laughs> Which will be at 4. I delete this. There we go. There we go. Okay. We're just waiting on the next update on Claudette, which is at will be at four PM Central, five PM Eastern. So we're just gonna wait a little bit. Ow. Okay, okay, so we'll look at this down St. Louis for a little bit. Just looking out around at some of these severe storms, see if there's any rotation in them or anything that I can talk about a little bit. Uh. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to turn on my neutral nail. Uh, I'm going to do my... This quality? Hmm. Okay. Bye.
Okay, I'm back. Train warning call water is about to expire. But we do have another train warning in Colorado. Which means... Natural Service in Denver, Colorado has issued a trail warning for southwestern Morgan County in northeastern Colorado until 3.15 p.m. Mountain Time. At 2.40 p.m. Mountain Time, a severe fire is capable of producing a tornado which is located over Adana, or 17 miles south of Fort Morgan. Moving east at 10 mile crow, has a tornado on Quartzite Hill, source radar indicator rotation, impact, expect damage to mobile homes, roofs, and vehicles. Locations impacted include 12 mile corner, Adana score, and Adana. Caution on the actions. Take cover now. Make your basement on the train room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Void windows, dark doors, and mobile home on a vehicle. Move closer to the central shelter. Protect yourself from flying debris. Adana isn't appealing, so I'm going to add it real quick. Adana. Lado. There you go. So here's the Dan the Colorado. Patience over it. <laughs> Another useless tornado warning. Yes, it is. I'm also going to add leader and two since it was in the last one. Leader. Oh, that's the one I need. Location. Also, going to add what was this t the town called again? And this is in the new trail one. 12 mile corner. Corner, I'm going to add that in. 12 mile corner. It on here. Hmm. It's too small, so it's not appealing, I guess. Go back to the warnings. We have a new Trinell warning. There's also some strong rotation. National Service in Gray, Maine has issued a trail warning for northwestern Knox County in south central Maine, southwestern Wallow County in south central Maine until 5.15 p.m. Mountain Time. I mean, Eastern Time. Make sure the sound's on because this is actually. Okay. At 4.41 p.m. Eastern Time, a severe funnel. Capable of producing a tornado was located near Liberty or 15 miles northwest of KDM, moving east at 25 miles per hour, has a tornado and half dollar size hail, source of radar and cable rotation impact. Flying debris and dangerous dust caught off our shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Now, if you wish, we know vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Camden, Lincolnville, and Watport. Around 5.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Washington, Hope, Appleton, Sealsmont, and Union. Precautionary preparedness action. Take up and down. Make your basement on a tree room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows, outdoors, and mobile home or vehicle. Move to a coastal central shelter to protect yourself from fire debris. Rotation basically right on top of Appleton. So if you're in Appleton, you be in your taking cover now. Appleton, Maine. 
was too far out to see the correlation radar. To see the correlation radar, you have to be in a certain range. You can't be in a range like this. Then you can only see if you're in this area. It's a range like this. So it's too far out to see. Those are some still some strong rotation. And we'll look at the one uh, that is gray. Main. Okay. Do they have yes? Okay, so it says Tornado warning including Appleton Main, Hope Main, Washington Main until five fifteen PM Eastern time. So it says but so it says Tornado Wait on Katie. So it says three thousand eight hundred forty two people in this tornado warning four schools. And no hospitals on the same warning. That is still some strong rotation right here. So if you can help, you need to take cover since this is some strong rotation. So I would be taking cover if I were you. There's also a hook up go on it. Station will be right there on Appleton. Appleton. There's the rotation right there. Heading right towards Hope Main. So I hope Main need to be taking cover. What right immediately? Well, look at that Adana Colorado today morning. I think might as well just expire that because it wasn't even rotation in the today morning, so I have no clue why they even extend it. So, yeah. Okay, so here is the rotation. Right here. Be useful since it is. You can look at Maine and see Waldo Central Maine Power. We can see the coverage map, and we can see if the power outages over here are from are from. From the possible tornado. So where are we at? What about white heel? Where is Where's Augusta compared to where we are? I went too far, so Candom. I don't see any power outages. So that's good. But we can still see if it's confirmed. No, but that is still some strong rotation. Okay, we're gonna look. Okay. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay. If you have any questions, feel free to say them in chat, and I'll get to them. Okay. So, the Charcoal Stone Claudette is now Charcoal Depression Claudette. So, yeah. So, it's not Charcoal Stone Claudette anymore. Charcoal Stone is Charcoal Depression Claudette. So, the so Claudette is expected to produce heavy rainfall and flash flooding across portions of Florida, Panhandle, Eastern Alabama, Georgia through tonight and into the Carolinas on Sunday. Consider flash flooding. Considerable f flash, urban, and small stream flooding impacts are expected across these areas. Charcoal storm conditions are possible along portions of North Carolina coast Sunday night and Monday, where charcoal storm watches in effect. That's the new update on it. So its current winds is 35 mile per hour winds. It's moving northeast at 16 mile per hour. It is um so it's located around this area around this area in Alabama. The center is. We do have a new trail warning. They reissued that leader Colorado trail warning. For some reason, they reissued it. I don't know what the Natural Service and Dam was doing. But since we know. Where the Santa is, we can look at it. So this is where the Santa is. Right here. I think it is right here. Would right here? I think is where it is. The Santa. Da, do, 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 do. What is this is? I don't know. Okay, let's go back. We got another new trail warning. In Colorado, if it's another useless one, I'm not talking about it. And it's another useless trail warning. Go back to the trail warning of Maine with an update on it. That's some strong rotation for it to be that far away from the radar. Turn warning remains in effect until 5.15 p.m. Eastern Time for Northwestern Knox and South Central Waldo counties. At 4.52 p.m. Eastern Time, a severe flood is capable. Producer Tornado is located in Liberty, 11 miles northwest of Camden, moving east at 25 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado and half dollars like hell, so square and can rotation, impact. Flying the debris with dangerous those caught fresh at the ball homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage roofs, windows, vehicles, broker, tree damage, cycling. This dangerous storm will be near Camden, Lincolnfield, and Rockport around 5.20 p.m. Eastern Time. All locations impacted by this fanatic flying storm into, include Hope, Appleton, Spillsmont, and I mean, sales mont and union. Precautionary preparedness actions. Take cover now. Meet your basement on room on the lowest floor of a study building. With windows, doors, and exterior walls. If you have doors in a mobile home or EV called Meet your closest to central shelter. Protect yourself from flying debris. Torrential rainfalls are clearing with this storm and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. I guess I'll add some. Any towns in this area? Shamrock is it on here? 
I guess I'll add Chan Block. Colorado. There we go. Okay. Hope and Appleton. Union's not on here, so I can add Union real quick too. A Union main, there we go. Where's Union? Now it is on there. Oh! I was just looking at the wrong place. Take away Union. Uh, delete. Union's already on there. I was just looking up here. Somewhere. That's still some strong rotation. Uh. Uh. I wonder what that hook is. Little hook right there. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna see what it is. Um, uh, no, 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 a new trailing car, just kidding. There's a bunch. Trailing in Colorado. Is this. No, I think I'm gonna go ahead and extend it. So... Yeah, I'm gonna have to extend that. Trail warning for this area. Yeah, if you're in Lincolnville, Camden, or Walkport, you're about to get put under a trail warning. They want to get you for these areas, probably. Do you just open up back to Portland National Service? Mm hmm. Okay, so we're just gonna keep an eye on this. Cause they're gonna need to extend that, cause that's some strong rotation, or they're just gonna let that special moving warning carry it on instead of extending it to cover. Did she just extend, put a little one right there before just letting this special moving warning take it? It's just ex issuing, expiring, issuing, expiring. If you got in any tornado warnings right here, uh, you don't need to take cover. I don't know what they would do are doing. If you're in the Adana tornado warning, the Shamrock tornado warning, or the Elbert County tornado warning in Colorado, you don't need to take cover. Because I have no clue what they have been doing. There's no even any rotation. I have no clue what they're doing. Why they're issuing these with all these time warnings. I don't know. The only spot there's a really rotation at is right here. And they need to extend the time warning to like right here. Before letting the special marine warning t take off the rest of it. 
No. Lincolnville and Hope. Where's Lincolnville? Okay, so apparently there's a new trail warning for these area to continue on before you go into the trail. Before going into the ocean. Please. National Service in Gray, Maine has issued a trail warning for North Central Knox County, South Central Maine, South Central Waldo County, South Central Maine until 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So this is a new trail warning. At 5.02 p.m. Eastern Time, Spear Farms were capable of producing a trail was located near Camden, moving east at 35 miles per hour. Has a trail and golf ball size hill. Source spread or indicate rotation. Impact. Flying with debris with danger to those caught from shelter. Mobile home tree damage or destroyed. If she will, we know vehicles broke her. Tree damage likely. This dangerous storm would be near. Um, Camden and Lincolnville around 5 10 p.m. Eastern Time and I Souls Bro around 5 20 p.m. Eastern Time. Other locations impacted by this thunderstorm, tornadic thunderstorm include. Hope and Seals Mont. Precaution of peril in this actions. Take cover now. Make sure be sure to your room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows, doors, and exterior walls. If outdoors and low home would be gone. Move close to the central shelter. Protect yourself with flying bird. Look at that latest scan. When hope you stay out safe to come out your safe places. Well, if you're in Lincolnville. Or Camden, Maine, we take cover immediately. This is a strong rotation. I won't be gone for around a minute, so to do something, so I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. So that's, we still got trail warning. That the rotation had moved out into the ocean now, so that trail was gonna go ahead and expire soon. Probably 16 minute expires. The steel for some reason. What well, in the trail warnings in Colorado? Yeah, are still in effect. Expires in 16 minutes. So, Okay, they said, so the metal scale discussion said this is where the greatest threat of tornadoes to be at in Georgia. Along a line that is slowly moving north. And that, you can see those little rotation spots in some places. We'll keep an eye on it. Place that seems to have the most rotation is this spot right here between the line and mill in Georgia. Some strong rotation. And maybe turn it on. Some rotation. And maybe turn it on soon. So, yes, let me just give you an overview. There's a big cluster of severe falls on mornings east of Colorado Springs. The severe fall is warning for Pueblo, Colorado. There is some severe fun. There's a, a line of severe storms between Cheyenne and Cindy, Nebraska. There was that expired. And there was some severe storms and some strong rotation around Can. It's even stronger now, but good thing it's offshore. Good thing it did. it's offshore. Um, but you see if there's any small towns on that island. Okay. Where are we? Is this Ibanez? Yes. I saw bro. It's gonna be going. So it's over the Dark Harbor Boat Yard. Um, oh yeah, there's some places on here. The Isle Central Central School. Um. If you. The artisan books and bindery. You can the Bain State Ferry Isobars Terminal. If you can, if you can drive to the Main State Ferry Service Isobars Terminal in less than fifth in ten to fifteen minutes, you need to cover. You can drive to the Fairwood Golf Club. In ten to fifteen minutes, you need to take cover. If you drive, to, if you can drive to the Isle of Royal Central School, in ten to fifteen minutes, you need to take cover. If you can drive to the Artisan Books and Binder, we play Bindery in less than ten in ten to twenty minutes, you need to take cover. And if you can drive to the Dark Harbor Boat Yard in, in ten to fifteen minutes, you need to take cover. So. If you can drive to any of those places in 10 to 15 minutes, you'll be taken cover because the rotation's on top of you. So 
patience about right here on seven hundred acre island and minor island and middle island is the that area where the, the rotations is at now I'm gonna there's a new trail warning let's go in Ohio In a populated area, so I want to open up it on my thing of Cleveland. This storm. Yes, it's storm. This is in a metro area. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that after we look at it. Because the National Weather Service in Cleveland has issued a trail warning for northwestern Tubble, Trumbull County in northeastern Ohio, southeastern Geogu. County in northeastern Ohio until 6 p.m. Eastern Time. At 5.14 p.m. Eastern Time, a serial thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Burton, or 8 miles south of Chardon. Moving east at 20 miles per hour has a tornado and cause ice hail, source radar and cable rotation, impact. Flying debris will dangerous those caught from shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. Locations impacted include Middlefield, North Bloomfield, Burton, West Farmington, and Park Man. Precautionary preparedness actions. Take cover now. Major basement or training room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Void windows, outdoors, and mobile home or vehicle. Good clothes to central shelter. Take yourself for five weeks. Void windows, doors, exterior walls. I forgot to say that. But it's for this rotation right here. On top of Burton. So if you're Burton, the rotation's on top of you. Then next in the path is Middlefield, Dan Farmington, and Miss Topany. Okay, if you're ain't anywhere in this, this triangle, in this rectangle, you need to take cover now. Could do Farmington, Middlefield, Burton. And Mesto Potima. I was sit now we're gonna look at this since it's in a metro area. Can't really see it, but you can kinda see it. So it says population of this tornado warning is twenty six thousand and four people. There's eleven schools in this tornado warning and one hospital. So yeah. Okay. You see some businesses in this area. This one gonna be a couple in this area. Okay, we're gonna get the button. Then he be at with right here with the button. Youngstown. I heard Sheldon gets mentioned, but there we go. Rotations around the Hosburgh Airfield, the Byler Freezer Meat. If you can drive to the Hosburgh Airfield in less than in 10 to 15 minutes, we take cover. If you can drive to the Byler Freezer Meat in 10 to 15 minutes, we take cover. You can drive to the Paul's Airport in 10 to 15 minutes, we take cover. If you can drive to the La Leo Vine Yards in 10 to 15 minutes, we take cover.
if you can drive to the county mow or sales in 10 to 15 minutes if you take cover you can drive to the mercury plastics inc if you're taking cover you can drive to the university hospital med Eric in less in 10 to 15 minutes be take over if you can go to middlefield farm and garden in the 10 15 minutes be take over if you can go to the hushburger house wells in 10 to 15 minutes be take cover and if you can drive to the the uh with and if you can drive to the Grand River Wildlife Area in 10 to 15 minutes. And the Town Shandix Airport in less than 10 minutes. In 10 to 15 minutes. You can drive to any other place that I just said in 10 to 15 minutes. Be taking cover. Because you're in the path of it. Kind of. And so. Tornado warning in Maine is just going to go ahead and expire. But a new warning may get issued on it for when it goes over Deal Isol, which is right here. New tornado warning may get issued for like this area as it goes over. But. The main storm is over the, the main storm. Ooh, there's a lot of islands. Eagle Island, the Butter Island, the Great Spruce Head Island, and the Bell Island. So now that uh, Ellie, it's going to go over Deal Isle and Starnington. So if you're in Starnington. Or deal I saw you need to be taking cover because this is and or and sunset may need to be taking cover sunset Starnington and deal I saw main need to be taking cover because you're in pack of this tornadic thunderstorm including the Starnington Moon Moon Airport. The Starnington Public Library. The Goose Cove Resort. The Steel Isol Starnington Historical Society. The Blue Heron. Gallery, the Deal Isle Starnington Chamber, and what is this? Deal Isle Island. Turn those areas to be taken cover. Then this Swans Island Town Hall need to be taken cover. The communities of Swans Island and Minton and Maine. Swans Island Schoolhouse, the Swans Island Library. Should any of those places can be taken a couple around those places? I'm going to go back to the tornado warning in Ohio. The storm is basically on top of... It's still on top of the islands, but I, don't know, I forgot what those islands are. We just get back to Ohio storm since it's actually infecting more people. So still some... Rotation, there's some still some rotation southeast of but a uh, Bolton and southwest of Middlefield, north 
a north west a park man and all three of those towns is in ohio this way cases you're just tuning in the same one currently for northwestern from one county in ohio and southeastern Greek Yuga County in northeastern Ohio until 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And some cities in that include Middlefield, North Bloomfield, Burton, West Farmington, and Parkman. Okay, those users who are wanting to Colorado is gone. And the tornado warning in Maine has expired. Okay, so we only have one tornado warning currently, and it's a tornado warning in Ohio. We'll do a power outage update. In Ohio, 10,471 people without power in Ohio. 9,417 people without power in Maine. 3,511 people without power in Alabama. 1,943 people out of power in Georgia. 3,804 people without power in Florida. And that was the power outage update for now. Oh, I forgot to refresh. I see I did refresh before saying it. I don't remember. Okay. Oh yeah, I did refresh. Okay. We'll look at chat. See if it ain't free. Warning. Put in the most people you have. We got uh seventeen views. Okay. If you're just tuning in, Tropical Storm Claudette is now a Tropical Depression Claudette. So it's not a Tropical Storm anymore, but it's still a thing. <laughs> okay. Also, if you're just tuning in, there's Enhanced Risk today for Portland, of Nebraska, Kansas, and Colorado. So some bigger cities in today's Enhanced Risk. Uh, Kearney, Nebraska, North Plate, Nebraska, Hastings, Nebraska, Lexington, Nebraska, Colby, Kansas, and McCook, Nebraska. If you have any questions, feel free to say them in chat. Please don't say random stuff in chat. Had some problems with that yesterday. So please don't say random stuff in chat. But we do have a turn warning. Has it been updated in Ohio yet? So. Um. Let's see what tropical depression Claudette is doing. Oh, yeah. Let's go back to this. Right here is where the rotation would be at. There you go. Hang on.
Okay, so should I just go? Yes. Hang on.
Okay, I'm back. I was a little gone longer than I said. I don't know if Atlanta Wet is still on, so if you're still on, please say in the chat so, so I can answer your question. Just tell me if you're still in chat. But now I'm going to go back to it. We got a couple of new spiel funds on watches. So it's still an enhanced risk. We just get started back on the live stream. So over here, you're expecting some just some gusty winds from near the Ogala, Ogala, Nebraska area down towards closer to the Kit Carson area in Colorado. In some spots, my radar's estimating up to 70 mile per hour winds in some spots. I'm just looking for any rotation that I can cover about. So I think about ending this live stream soon. Too. But you can tell where the winds are. Gusty winds. So I'll be moving this way. So I'm going to put it. I'm going to say some cities got in the path of this. It's okay. Goodland. Ugly Kobe. Big Cook. And or some bigger cities in the path of this. Feel some strong winds. If you're in Hay Hagler, you need to start preparing for some gusty with some strong winds. Same with Burlington. Well, Burlington's being hit now. Strong winds. Tomorrow I'm planning to do another live stream. We update this. Um, the 7 o'clock update is going to be here soon. Oh, it's the 7 o'clock update. Okay. So the charcoal depression solve Claudette is around this, it's somewhere in this area. The Santa. Santa's about white heels. Heels the Santa. Think honestly, think it's white heel the Santa. Think. I'm probably going to end it since it's just a line of surreal storms. Do you want to end my live stream for tonight? And it is. Moving this way. Moving east. So I'm going to talk about tomorrow's. Nah. Okay, I'm playing through another live stream on Tropical Depression Claudette. And tomorrow. And and tomorrow's real weather, which is a hand twist for Chicago metro area. So make sure to like, subscribe to our 